Hey guys, Dr. Davin Lim, board certified laser dermatologist. Today's topic is five tips to make your skincare work harder for you without doing much work. Um, for you, those of you who are new to this channel, uh, my name's Davin, I'm a dermatologist. This channel really addresses skincare right down to the basics and I give you guys skincare hacks of what us professional dermatologists use day in, day out. These are all simple skincare techniques. Um, which will help you in your daily life, okay? So, let's say you're using actives. Um, if you've missed that, sorry, if you missed that video on how to use vitamins A, Bs, and Cs, you can click on the link above and it tells you how to use uh, actives in a proper way and how to actually look after your skin. Okay, so let's say you're using an active such as adapalene, and maybe a vitamin A, maybe a retinol, maybe a uh, retinoic acid. Okay, so you've got the vitamin A, you've got the vitamin B, the vitamin B may be a um, B5, niacinamide, okay, and you've got the vitamin C, and you've maxed out all of these vitamins. In other words, you're using it on your skin, um, you're getting good results, you're getting no side effects. How can you maximize um, all of these without buying new products? Well, I'll give you five hints, okay? The first thing, the most important thing is timing. Right, and um, we know that all of the actives we want to actually work beneath the layer of the skin called your dermis. And in order to get into your dermis, you've got to go through your top layer of your skin, which is called your epidermis. And your epidermis has got several layers, including the stratum corneum, which is the thinnest layer, and then right down to the basal layer of your epidermis. It's got then penetrate your basement membrane and go down into your dermis. And that's where all your actives, your vitamin A, Bs and Cs work. So in order to do that, your skin's got to be really well hydrated because the drug delivery system doesn't go straight down. It actually goes through a brick layer in your skin. So your skin is make it made out of bricks and mortar. And the way drug travels is actually through the mortar and not straight through the bricks. So what you want to do, that's why I said the timing is super important. When do you want to put these products on? It's when your skin is super hydrated. So straight after a bath or shower, uh, you give yourself a pat dry, and immediately at that stage, put on your actives, whatever that may be. Like I said, it could be a vitamin C, it could be a vitamin B, it could be a vitamin A, okay? So you want to put that on, which means the actives can go down into your dermal layer a lot better because that's the route of which it, it takes and through the mortar and not straight down through the bricks. Then what you could do half an hour later to reinforce that and prevent that special word of T-E-W-L, trans-epidermal word of loss, and give it a sealant, you use a moisturizer. Whatever moisturizer, use a light moisturizer. So obviously if you've got dry skin, use a heavy moisturizer. If you've got if you've got sensitive skin, use a low irritant moisturizer. If you've got acne prone, oily skin, you use a light moisturizer. What moisturizer do I recommend? I don't know, it depends on your skin. Okay, so that's tip number one. Yes, it does take a long time for me to explain that, but that's the most fundamental aspect is to apply. That's the application. And tip number two is to moisturize. Okay, let's go into tip number three. We can use what's known as an exfoliant prep. Now, what do I mean by an exfoliant prep? Remember, your skin is thick, yeah, and it contains um, the outer layer, which is much like a shell, and that's it's called the stratum corneum. And one way to breach that shell and make your skin thinner is to prep your skin before using these active ingredients. In other words, to incorporate things like alpha hydroxy acids, such as glycolic acid. So Neostrata makes a good one. Once again, no endorsement. I'm not endorsing this product. I'm just saying this is a good one of which I've been using for years. So you can use a Neostrata, start with something like a uh, 15. You can dilute it, use it once a week. And that gives you a breach or basically an increased penetration in your stratum corneum so that the actives such as the vitamin C's can get into your skin a little bit easier. So combining this maybe once or twice a week using a chemical exfoliant combined with your actives will give you a better result without increasing or changing the concentration of your actives. So that is a good tip and that's tip number three. In our world, in the world of which I practice, um, 
my chemical peels of high strength peels, I use this. I use acetone. Acetone acts as a scrub uh, and acetone actually is a degreaser. So it allows me to use my, you know, Jesner's peels, my TCA 35% and actually get down to the skin, uh, to the dermal layer um, a lot faster, a lot safer um, and a lot more efficiency. So I use acetone, don't use acetone at home, just start off with, like I said, a um, glycolic acid. Okay, so I hope you like, like those tips. Now, tip number four, um, have I lost track? No, I think I'm right. Tip number four is to actually use physical exfoliant. So we can start something off as simple as this, gauze. So you can buy a pack of this for maybe two or three dollars from your Walmart or chemist warehouse, wherever you live. And this is actually really, um, I guess, coarse gauze. It's not coarse like sandpaper. We actually do use sandpaper. I'm not going to endorse that on this channel, obviously, for home care. Uh, we do the, do that for medical reasons, but gauze is good to start off with. So start off with gauze. If you're comfortable with gauze, uh, you can use something like um, even cotton gloves. If, you're cotton with, if you are comfortable with cotton gloves, you can graduate to something like a manicure glove or an exfoliant glove. And you basically have different grades. So you can start off with a fine grit, go all the way up to... Of course, grit. So what that does, mix this with your cleanser of choice in the shower. And what you do is that you clean your face, um, just basically exfoliate. Uh, and then you can go all the way up to just using, if you really want to, you can use a physical exfoliator, such as one of these, um, which is Clarisonic, and like I said, Time and time again, I do not endorse a Clarisonic. I've got a generation one Clarisonic, generation two Clarisonics. So they work better, I don't know. Um, they work the same. And you can actually use that as a brush uh, exfoliant to actually increase the penetration um, of your skin. It decreases your um, layer of dead skin cells and it, and it increases the penetrations of all your actives. So these guys work a lot harder and um, you're not increasing the concentration, nor do you have to purchase uh, a higher price, higher concentration product. You're just making the guys that you're using day in, day out in your skincare regime, whatever they may be, work a lot harder for you. Okay guys, so that's tip number four. Tip number five um, is how um, I do it, is how um, the professionals increase it. So stay tuned and I'll show you the lasers and the methods of which we use. So tip number five, one of the things which I used to use a lot, not anymore because of the fact that uh, there are much better ways to use things, is the old fashioned this. It's called a micro laser peel. So you'll see it advertised a lot in a lot of a lot, a lot of practices, hey, you know, this is the ultimate in increasing um, skin penetration or skin rejuvenation. It's called a micro laser peel. And with the cyton, yes, we can actually dial it from everywhere from 5 microns all the way to 10 microns, 20, 30, 40, 50, all the way up to 100 microns for full epidermal peel. Uh, some companies do market it and go, hey, look, it's a 10 micron peel and you're really only exfoliating 10% of the epidermis, which you can do realistically with a glove. So do I actually use this? Um, no, I don't. For scientific studies, yes, I do, because we get the exact amount of um, epidermis off. To the micron right so that's um, one one hundredth of a millimeter so we can measure that using a laser so that's one way we can use things let's have a look at other ways we can increase the penetration of our actives okay guys so the another way which i use is basically a fractional laser uh, and fractal good but i prefer the clear and brilliant the reason being is because this fractal 1927 is thulium driven that's um, thulium driven compared to a clear and brilliant, which is diode-driven. The, the difference is that it heats the energy a lot more in the epidermis, which creates little holes, and that increases the penetration. So I prefer the clear and brilliant in the 1927 wavelength per mere to actually increase the penetration of actives. Okay, so that's um, one of my favorite ways of uh, actually increasing the penetration is clear and brilliant 1927 per mere. Really good if you're treating pigmentation. Um, so pigmentation, pores, 
and certainly uh, it can help with pimples as well. And you use active ingredients such as um, ALA if you're going to do things before um, light treatment, for example. Okay, so look, let's move on and let's see other ways. Guys, if we don't have a laser, we actually can use um, the old-fashioned uh, skin needling because skin needling can actually increase the penetration of actives as well. So, uh, which one do I endorse? I don't endorse any. Uh, I endorse the depth. The depth uh, safe skin needling at home should be done at 0 0.25 to 0 0.5 mils. Um, there's no debate in regards to the needles. They're all the same at 0.25 or 0.5. There's rollers, needles, same thing at this depth. More on how to DIY um, in the video above. Dermapin, do I use it? Uh, yes, I did. But now with energy devices, um, yeah, yeah, it's it's out there. Uh, it's I wouldn't say it's outdated. It's second generation. It's 15 years old. Um, but does it work? Yes, it does. And if it's the only thing that you've got in your practice and um, you can dial it in at, like I said, 0 0.5 mils or even one mil, you can increase your actives in regards to that. Hey, on this topic, uh, last week I did something on um, sheet, that's H-double-E-T, sheet, once again, sheet masking. So this is our professional sheet mask. It's called a Hydro Aid Hydro Gel Pad. And this increases the amount of uh, retention, water retention in your skin. So once again, increasing your water retention increases the penetration of actives. So missed that out, and that's in tip number two. But this is it's just lying there. So I'm just going to give you our professional sheet mask. Okay. Let's move on to um, our final room, and I'll show you another device. Okay, final device. Uh, what do I like to use to increase penetration? This, it's called a hydrofacial. Uh, this has really replaced old-fashioned microdermabrasion. The reason being is that it uses a vortex generator um, and as, a as a suction to actually remove the dead skin cells. So remember, we're uh, removing the upper layers of the skin uh, and we can infuse. So, but if you want increased penetration, uh, and I do sometimes use this to actually increase the penetration of actives. Um, this is my device of choice. So it's called a hydrofacial. Um, available in most um, spa salons and things like that. It's actually a very, very good device. And once again, not endorsing it. <laughs> it's paid, paid for this. Uh, but it does replace old fashioned microdermabrasion. The reason being is, like I said, it doesn't, it doesn't only extract it doesn't only polish it also infuses as well so that's a final way of how I actually breach the barrier to make your skincare products work harder for you guys I hope you liked that video um, that's a very very short video uh, on how to make your actives work harder for you without spending more money um, guys I do one video one educational non-sponsored video every Saturday morning uh, Brisbane time. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you like, um, give it a thumbs up. Please, by all means, share your thoughts, uh, chime your thoughts. Whatever you do, don't ask me what product I recommend for your skin. I don't know your skin. I haven't examined your skin. And besides, I'm a laser dermatologist. I give you skincare advice, uh, but I do not endorse any products. Okay, guys? So, um, share your thoughts, share what you like and your tricks because this channel is about interaction. It's not about me giving you basically what I think and that's the Bible. It's not. I'm just, sh I'm just sharing some of the trade secrets that we have as dermatologists. Um, by all means, please subscribe and turn your notifications on because I do one educational video every Saturday morning Christmas time. I'll see you next week. Thanks guys. Bye.